Yeah, now you just uh, let me know. Yeah, okay. Okay. Nice. All right. So guys, I think uh, you people are doing trade, all right? So let me know how people are getting profit here and who people are following me. So if you have any like a doubt or something like that, you can ask me very clearly. So I hope most of the people are getting profit uh, by using various type of trading strategy. So that means today I'm gonna show you different trading strategy. So step by step, I'm just forwarding my trading strategy uh, to teach you. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, so that means uh, today I'll show you various type of trading strategies. So and exactly I will show you how we trade. All right. Okay, so here I'm gonna show you today uh, swing trading strategy. So who people uh, hold their position for week come month to till month, right? So this type of trading strategy, basically I'm using H1 uh, chart, all right? So here today I will uh, apply some option trading strategy. So I'll show you two basic trading strategy and you just uh, determine according to uh, your uh, like, uh, trading strategy, what type of trading strategy you're gonna use. And I'll show you two methods. One is simple stock trading strategy. And the same thing I'm gonna use in option. So I'll show you exactly where is the most, uh, like uh, you can say like profitable and low risk are there. All right. So that is why I just asking you, so what already given like various type of trading strategy if you have any doubt so you can ask me where i can clarify you all right so up once you learn the option i think you people need uh if you will, will leave this uh like a uh, internet trading strategy or something like that so everybody will shift to option all right so that is a different method so exactly i'll show you how we trade in option all right so by the way uh, let me uh, let me explain first one by one so okay nice so in this video i'll discuss about swing trading strategy by using uh, this is called bollinger band and stochastic so in my previous video i think in my youtube channel you will find uh, three most important trading strategy by using bollinger band i already post youtube channel so you can find it and the next video i already explained uh, the stock how we trade uh, any market by using stochastic all right I think most of the people are uh, knows right how to okay how to use the stochastic okay doing bank nifty option intraday all right mm -hmm. most of your tips are teaching already yesterday yeah. so bank nifty or stocks or whatever i'll show you exactly how to trade and i'll show you all right so you just compare yourself who is this better for you I'll show you both of them. All right. And I'll show you same trading strategy. You're going to use uh, directly option trading and another stock trading. You just find out which is comfortable, which is best for you. I'll show you uh, one by one. All right. Okay. Okay. Mr. Bishal uh, Saula. I'm making huge loss don't worry don't worry about that one and you just follow the position size you always do the position size. 
most of the people are thinking, hey, today I lost that much of money. I don't know why they are not doing position sizing. Remember, if you are not doing position sizing, that means you are not a disciplined trader. To become a successful trader, and if you wanna make money consistently every month or every year, you must be a disciplined trader. And most of the people are not doing position sizing and taking more than 30 to 40 percent risk in a single trade. That is called gambling. That is not called trading. My dear friend, that is not called trading. That is called totally gambling. And don't try to be a gambler. All right. So this is compounding market. You know, most important and most uh, beautiful thing in this stock market you know this is a compounding market whatever you earn today you can compound it to earn another trade that is the important thing most beautiful thing in this area but first of the first you must know position sizing per risk per trade that is the important thing suppose if you have one lakh rupees and entire one lakh one leg you are putting in this market that is that is not a fair we never know or in the world there are nobody in the world who have 100 percent accurate trading strategy all right so we never knows which trade will go in favor of us whatever you are uh, like uh, strategy are using you know even world best professional trader also doesn't know what trading he is putting exactly in this market or placing his order even he doesn't know either it will hit your target or it will hit your uh, his sl nobody never knows about that all are probability that is why we never put entire amount in this market in the same time that is why i'm telling you in a single trade you just take two to three percent per trade only two to three percent per trade all right suppose among 10 trade you just did like 10 trade in a week for example so if you have 50 percent winning ratio ultimately you you are a winner all right that is the trading strategy all right uh, sir i risk just seven don't take seven percent seven percent is you know professional traders are not taking seven percent they are taking maximum and maximum five percent per trade per trade five percent only maximum who have best the trading strategy they have more than 20 30 years experience in this market they people are taking only five percent don't take uh, seven percent i recommend you just take two percent in a single trade two percent all right if that means you are taking two percent risk you're gonna earn four percent four percent is enough in a single day if you earn four percent four percent consistently you just think it in a, in a year, you will be a multimillionaire. If you earn consistently 4%, 4%, 4% every day, you'll be a multimillionaire in a week. Got it? So that is why don't take that much of, uh, that much risk. All right. So every video I'm explaining where to enter in this market, where to place your SL, and where to place your target that is the important thing and most of the people are thinking hey it will go up for further let me hold it not like that after that price reverse back and hit their sl means some psychological factor are or sometimes you are becoming greedy sometimes you are becoming fear uh, fear sometimes you are hoping that market like because you are not in the uh, like system you are not doing any trade by systematically all right 
so you must be a systematic trader you must be a disciplined trader where the market goes doesn't mean and i don't want to know where to go but i'm exactly placing my buy order and exactly placing my sell order and i'm placing my target either it will hit my target i don't care I'm just following my trading strategy and consistently, I'm not talking only once, twice or three. I'm talking about consistently you are applying your trading strategy. Among the trend trades, five trade go, uh, goes in your favor and five trade goes in your against. Ultimately, you will be a winner, right? Because your SL is 2% and target 2%. That means five trades means 20% you are earning, and five trade means you are losing 10%. 20 minus 10, it will 10% you are earning, right? 10% is then a bro. I'm talking about if you earn in a month, 10 that is huge. All right. That means in a year you're gonna make your all right. That is the beauty of this market, and whatever you earn next day they're gonna earn again it is compounding your money that is the important thing all right so don't be like don't let come your psychology factor i'm telling you control everybody have psychology factor everybody then i have also psychological factor affecting me but i'm controlling remember i'm controlling i'm i never become a greedy <laughs> because i'm controlling myself whether market goes like i place my only 20 point my target if market goes 100 200 point above further from my target i don't care because i have a strategy and i'm following consistently that is the important thing all right okay is it clear so is it clear okay Okay. 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 So, Mr. Saravana, I'm telling you there is no psychological indicator or psychological medicine to control uh, to uh, medicine to control your psychology. Very simple. There is no such way to control your psychology in this market. Remember you can control by using position sizing and specific trading strategy right so let me let me let me give an example here uh, suppose my trading strategy is there somewhere here i am selling according to my trading strategy suppose according to my stochastic and i'm placing my sl and i'm placing my target somewhere here so at that time i'm doing position sizing where i'm placing my sl it's a two percent r two percent risk all right and here i am earning four percent all right that is my trading strategy simply so once you place this type of trading strategy you have position sizing right exactly you are doing position sizing and exactly you are using uh, like a trading strategy uh, whatever you know or whatever comfortable for you trading strategy you are applying here once you apply these two method there is no psychological factor if psychological factor are coming in your brain so you just avoid that i have a strategy i'm placing buy and i'm placing sl if goes my uh, goes against me i'm going to lose two percent Right, I'm not going to uh, lose like 30%, 40% or entire amount in a single trade because I'm going to lose only 2% and next trade I will earn it 4%, very simple. So don't let come your psychological factor. There is no such calculator or indicator to uh, like uh, control your psychological uh, psychology factor. All right, so if you have a proper trading strategy, all right, you, if you have a proper trading strategy and you know how to position sizing exactly these two uh, thing 
will eliminate your psychology factor. If you don't know your position, uh, that if you don't have any trading strategy and you don't know how to position sizing, because in a single trade, you putting entire your capital in a single trade, that means you are not position sizing, definitely psychological factor will affect you. All right, you can't control your psychology factor. We need a basic trading strategy, all right, which is comfortable for you. That is why I'm showing various type of trading strategy. And you just find out which trading strategy is uh, like uh, best for you, right? Most of the people are asking me, sir, what trading strategy is best. So you can't say anybody, like some, everybody have different view, different uh, behavior, different thinking. So you just find out uh, which is best for you. Let me give an example. So suppose everybody like fish, right? Everybody like fish. Uh, so suppose this is a fish. So oh, I'm not drawing properly. Suppose this is fish. This guy like to eat this fish in different uh, way, right? He, he like, uh, like deep fry and this guy uh, like, uh, uh, like fish, like uh, uh, fish curry like that. And another, like he uh, like uh, some like boiling style fish, right? But motive is and destination all are same, eating fish, all right? All our destination is same that eating fish, but way of eating food is different. Everybody, somebody are telling me, and another another person are asking all of them that what is the best way to eat fish. This guy will say differently. This guy will say differently, and this guy will say differently. That is why you just find out which way you like most. All right, which way? You like yourself and find out the best way of uh, best uh, trading way in this market and best trading strategy, which is comfortable for you, not for other. All right, find out. All right, is it clear? So that is why I'm showing you different way to trading. I'm showing you different way uh, how to place buy and sell order in this market. All right, that is the most, most important thing. All right, now this is the another uh, way. So now today I gonna use different ways. First, let me explain. We everybody knows that uh, when, Suppose, let me explain here. So everybody knows about that one, uh, right? Uh, this is called a Bollinger Band. Uh, this Bollinger Band I'm using, uh, this is manual period. So if doesn't know about the Bollinger Band, you just visit to my, what called, uh, YouTube channel. I already made a video, uh, three basic way to trade uh, Bollinger Band, all right? so by using Bollinger Band. So most of the people are, uh, they don't know how to use Bollinger Band and buying and the selling by seeing something like that. I, even I don't know how they are using, but I have, uh, I, already, I have already given uh, the best trading strategy by using Bollinger Band. So you can, you can, you can visit uh, to my YouTube channel, then you will find that one. So I'm using basic period and I don't want to explain what is the Bollinger Band. Everybody knows that one. And all right. So middle one, upper band, lower band, and middle one, it's a comparatively 20 moving average, almost same, but they are a little more different calculator. So you will find differently. So I am showing you exactly how to trade. All right. And then next I using stochastic and sometimes I'm using manually and sometimes I'm using different uh, parameters. So we're uh, very smooth. So percentage K I'm using eight and uh, slowing here seven and percentage D period I'm using three and moving average I'm using exponential and uh, here period close and close all right. 
All right. So here uh, you can see this is a stock ST. Now uh, let me tell you. So first we have seen somewhere support here, multiple rejection price from this area. At that time we have seen this is a strong support in this area. All right. We have seen this is a strong support in this area and we drawn a supporting line and then now you can see price was bouncing from uh here you can see price are bouncing from this supporting area and exactly stochastic are bouncing from 20 level have you seen it that means in this area we have seen price was oversold zone this was oversold zone by identifying by stochastic or you can say indicating by stochastic so we comes to know this is a strong support and here you can see after that finally price broke this support have you seen it that was a support support and the support the broke this support and create a new low now you can see price again reverse back toward this support now it's become a resistant that was a support that was a support that was a support and here you can see support breakout point all right this point you can see support breakout point now which have become a resistant right and here we can see when price hit the resistant at that time price just near upper bollinger band so everybody knows when price hit the upper bollinger band again reverse back toward the down, lower bollinger band again hit the upper bollinger like that they are running so once we have seen price drop down hit the lower bollinger band again price push up toward upper bollinger band exactly now we can see there was a resistance line means this is a strong resistance why it is a strong resistance we have seen two resistance line or two confirmation are there and they are telling us it is probability to reverse back from this area and similarly at that time we have seen uh, what we have seen this one you just think yourself i already explained there okay let me explain again so here we have seen this that was a higher high and next day they are creating a higher high so one we, we connect that one they are pointing toward upside they are creating higher high first we have seen that was a higher high according to stochastic and they, they are creating higher low and the pointing toward downside that means it is diverging how many confirmation we have seen think yourself we know price is running in a down downtrend by using mobbing average it's okay i'm not going to use moving average right now now we can see price broke this supporting line create a new low and again price reverse back toward this supporting line that means this area are very strong resistant now because of bollinger band upper line are there and that is a supporting line and according to stochastic price are diverging all right so that is a big sell opportunity all right that is a big sell opportunity all right let me let me show you this one now next here you can see all right okay uh, okay do you have any doubt then you can ask me so i'm gonna use one by one various they're different uh, uh, trading strategy so this is do, do you have any doubt you, you can ask me it's a very clear all right very clear once you comes to know how to identify the entry point i think 60 to 70 percent to win ratio will be in your trading all right all right 
So if you have any doubt, you can ask me. So I'm gonna, okay.